Okay, so here's how to enter patient data on the Easy One and get ready for a test. From the main menu, press Enter on Perform Test. Choose New. The ID and name are optional, but I'll put something in here. In this case, I'm just going to add an initial instead of a full name, but you can add a full name if you like. The patient's age. Height. This information is very important. It needs to be accurate. Weight is optional, but you can enter that. It will give you a BMI index if you do so. And by the way, if you make a mistake on the easy one, uh, it's very easy to go back and fix it by pressing and holding the zero key, which is an escape key. So that will take me back to the previous field where I can re-enter the correct information and keep going. So the patient's ethnicity gender, whether they're a smoker or not, whether they have asthma or not. Once you're done with that, it takes you to the test menu. And In this demonstration, we're doing the flow volume loop test, which is the second test on the test menu. I press enter there. It asks me for a room temperature. It defaults always to 71. It's not critical. I would press enter here to start the test. Okay, so the patient data has been entered and we're ready to do our first blow. So Bianca, I'm going to instruct you that in spirometry, our, our goal is to, is to see how much air you can bl uh, blow out of your lungs and how fast you can do it. So the maneuver is something like this. Could fill lungs completely, and when you're ready, you blast. It's very important that you keep exhaling until all the air is gone. And when I think your air is going out, uh, gone, I will instruct you to take a big inhale at the end. That's a flow volume loop test. That's the test we're going to do. So to do that, we need to install uh, a new spurette into the device. I'm going to leave this bag on here, and you'll see why in a moment. Insert that in all the way. I've matched up the, the arrow on the spirette and the bariette. So that's, that's in there now. I'm going to ask you to put a nose clip on so you don't leak any air out your nose. And we're going to do the flow volume loop test from the test menu here. So when I press enter, it asks me for the room temperature. I, it defaults to 71. I like that. I'm going to press enter. And it's saying block spirette until prompted to blast out. That means I want to leave this plastic bag on the spirite for a moment while pressing enter and a few seconds later it says blast out and we're ready to go. So I'm going to remove the bag, hand you the spirometer, ask you to completely fill your lungs. When you're ready, blast. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Big, big inhale, big inhale. Good. Good job. So, the spirometer is telling me, don't hesitate. That means that uh, at the very beginning of the test, you fail to really <sighs> blast. So on the next blow, I'm going to have you try to improve upon that. Okay, so we're ready for the next try. So Bianca, this time uh, it's important that after you fill your lungs, you don't start the test till you're ready, and once you're ready, very quick, fast blast. Okay, no hesitation at all. So I'm going to press retry on the device to start the next blow. And it says blast out, so we're ready to go. Okay. Fill up. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 keep going, keep going. Big inhale. Very good. Okay, let's see what we have now. So, good effort, do next, indicates that that was a quality test. Our grade is now improved to a D, that's good. We're looking to get an A or a B grade, which would uh, be after we get three acceptable blows. So far we have one acceptable blow, we're looking for two more. Okay, so we've done two good efforts so far. We've got one more to go. So I'm going to press next here, and we're ready to go for the next effort. 
So it says blast out, so we're ready to go. So Bianca, fill up. Blast. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Big inhale. Very good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Session complete, great job, great A. Session is done. Great. Okay, so we're finished with the spirometry. It's time to print the test. So I'm offered the print option here on the menu. So I'm going to choose enter on print. Please connect device to cradle for my HP printer. I dock it in the cradle. This cradle is connected directly to this printer. And it's going to print the job. Another option with the easy one is to uh, download the data into a PC running our PC software called EasyWare. Here I've got the Cradle connected to the PC and I'm going to just connect the device to the Cradle and the test will download into the PC. And once it's in the PC, um, EasyWare allows you to, to view the data, you can trend data, print data, and easily make PDF tests as well.